What's up guys, Adil Marquez702 here and welcome back to my playthrough on Fire Emblem Fates Revelation for the Nintendo 3DS. And in this episode guys, we're going to be going into chapter 12 after going through Mokushu, the worst fucking place in this fucking game. Gotta say, I really do despise that place. Um, but the point of that was, uh, Saizo actually sent a signal in which he was sending a warning for us to kind of get away because he was facing off against the Makujin ninjas, and, um, we ended up going over there anyway because Kashi is just so nice, and, uh, we ended up fighting, uh, Kotaro and his army of ninja, and it actually turned out that Kagero was held captive, and once we finished the job there with, you know, killing everyone, <laughs> pretty much, we managed to get Saizo, Orochi, Reina, and Kagero on our team uh, permanently, so really awesome, and um, I gave a lot of um, good items to my, my ninjas over here. Such as Saizo, I actually gave him Saizo Star. Um, it's pretty good. It's a plus seven, so <laughs> must be pretty good. Um, and his strength and luck are already maxed out, both at 18. So definitely can tell that I trained a lot with him. And then as for Kagero, I actually gave her the Sting Shuriken since she was pretty much a god, a goddess with it last uh, last game or birthright rather. And then I gave her two Sting. No, nah, wait, hold on. Two steel shurikens, forged them, and then called it the Black Star. So, it can now, um, it actually does more damage, so it's pretty good. As for everything else, though, I'm pretty sure that's it. I mean, I mean, Obero, she's just the same. I forged two hand axes, and I called it the Mini Tomahawk for Rinka, so I guess that's something. I gave Hayato a Sheep Spirit and a Monkey Spirit, because they're both really, really good. And let's see, what else did I give anything? Did I give anything else new? Um, and yeah, I gave them Paragon, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's really everything I did off screen. But as for now, guys, let's actually do one support conversation, just because I'm really curious to see how this will go down. We have Rinka and Hiato talking for the very first time, so I'm pretty curious. Hmm. Wait, is that? Hiato, hey! What are you doing all the way out here? Rinka? I I'm not doing anything at all. Wait a second, aren't the fried vegetables- wait, aren't those the fried vegetables they were giving out today? Why would you be wandering around with those in your hand? Were you gonna throw them away? Oh shit, dude, Hayato, don't do that! Hi- dude, Rinka's gonna get after your ass. Huh? huh? No, of course not. I was just debating how to- oh, how best to eat- <laughs> how best to eat them. How to eat them? What's wrong with them the way they are? I'm sure they're perfectly, uh, plenty flavorful. Do you dislike them? Honestly, they're way too bitter. I can't stand to eat them. Huh? That's it? Why are you acting like a big baby? <laughs> oh! Yo, Rinka never stops to sizzle on someone. Hey, don't say that. I'm not a baby. I'm a grown man. <laughs> you don't. You realize we're at war, right? Every single resource is incredibly precious. How dare you waste food like that? Don't yell at me. I can't help the fact that it tastes terrible. Why don't you make uh, mind your own business, Rinka? This has nothing to do with you. Don't be such a ridiculous jerk. Wait! You can't run away and leave me with all your food. Munch, munch. I won't forgive anyone for oh, you complaining about great food. I won't forget about this, Hayato. What the fuck, <laughs> Rinka? Rinka, you're so weird. Oh my god, you're so fucking like... But, you know, Rink, that's just how Rinka is. She just, she's just Rinka. That's how she is. She is an eater. She is a powerhouse. And she is just... She's just so outgoing, you know? But yeah, there we go. That's it for the C rank with Hayato and Rinka. Gotta say, I'm actually really liking the conversation with, um, conversations between those two. And I don't know, I just kind of like, you know, I'm just thinking later in the future it's going to be really good uh, later on. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this finally. Into chapter 12. And we're actually going to be, I, ugh, we're going to be at sea in this chapter. Chapter 12, Frozen Sea. So we're probably going to be on the ship for the entire fight. That's usually what happens. But yo, this is a nice looking ship, I gotta say. Looking pretty clean right now. Not gonna lie. We arrived just in time to catch the fairies. Big brother. Kashe, you should rest for a while and have this opportunity to do so. It feels like we've been fighting constantly. Yes. You're right. I'll make sure to take a nap soon. Thanks, Sakura. That's nice of her. Very nice of Sakura. Really do appreciate that. Um, um, I'm Lord Cachet. The captain says everything's going well. We should reach the port tomorrow. Thanks, Felicia. Does the sky look darker to you? Yikes, and the boat is starting to rock more than normal. Yes. It looks like a storm is brewing. 
We should get uh, below decks before the rain picks up. Whoa! Jeez, what was that? The boat just lurched into a halt. Did we run into something? We better take a look. The oh, fuck, nigga? Holy shit, what the hell? What's this, fucking Titanic? We run into a fucking iceberg? What in the world is going on? The sea, the entire sea has been frozen solid. <gasps> ah, how can this be? It's like a dead of winter out here. Lord Cache, do you see uh, that out there? Someone's coming this way. Wait, Lady Camilla? Hello? <gasps> no way. Oh, d damn, nigga. Ah, oh, Cache, I'm so glad to see you're unharmed. God damn, she flew over here fast. <laughs> Holy shit. Ever since your dreadful confr uh, confrontation with Xander, I've wanted to see you. Sister. Camilla. You're so cute. Cache, you're still as so cute as ever. But you have to stop thinking of me as your sister. Don't think of me that way. It will be easier for both of us to fight if we don't cling to sentimentality. Sister, can't you see that I'm trying to do something good for both kingdoms? I hear your words, but Father has demanded that you would put to be yeah, put to death. Hello? Kashe, I love you so much from the very bottom of my heart. But that doesn't mean I can can disobey a direct order from Father. It's a tragic end to things, but since you betrayed Nor, I have no choice. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're wrong, Camilla. I haven't betrayed you or anyone else. Flora, would you be so kind? Yes. Yes, milady. Of course, Flora is... She has no hesitant to... Uh, Turn on us. Gah! Lord Cache, I cared greatly for you back in the castle, no back. but I will show you no mercy, nor will I allow any harm to come to Lady Camilla. <laughs> Flora, what are you doing? Stop this right now. Did you truly come here to kill us? To kill your own sister? Don't tell me you're the only one responsible for freezing the ocean. Felicia. I am. King Garen has commanded that the Ice Tribe eliminate Cache. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? And we will. If we don't, the entire tribe will be sentenced to death. Why? Again, Flora's being influenced by fucking Garen. If she doesn't do what she's told, her fucking tribe's gonna be killed. But I guess it makes sense. Horrible enough to threaten our village, but forcing siblings to fight as well? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Felicia. I can't listen to anything you say. I love you. For the good of the Ice Tribe, I must chill my heart and do what is commanded. Flora! Don't do this! <sighs> it's no use, Felicia. We're gonna have to fight back against them, or we're done for. I understand, Camilla. Kashe, I love you too much to let you go on like this. Though I can all- wait. Though all I can do for you now is end your life with my own hands. Come to me, Kashe. Let me hear your last words. I'll remember them forever, my beloved little brother. God damn it. We have to fight fucking Camilla, of all people. Well, let's go ahead and select our units, though. Yeah, we don't really have much of a choice, do we? But God knows that we're going to be bringing some pretty goddamn good units here, guys. So, ah, God, we can't really bring as many units as I thought, though. I mean, I'm yeah, I think it's like the same as last time, but since we have a lot of other units now, it's going to be kind of hard to... I don't know, guys, I don't know. But, um, let's see, someone I do want to bring, though. I'm not going to lie, I actually really... Hmm, hmm, what should I do? What should I fucking do? Kaze should get some time by, like, just to sit out for a little bit. So we're not going to be bringing Kaze this time. I kind of think that someone else should get the, gets the chance. We're going to choose Saizo and Kagero here. Oh, shit, we can't. Oh, but we're also going to deselect Hana. So that's what we're going to do. And then, god damn it. And no, I'm not going to be bringing fucking Kaze too, because that's kind of ridiculous. Three ninja, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Hmm. I'm just trying to compare speed at the moment, guys. Defense is 18. Defense 15. Ah, uh, all right, Mosu, we're gonna have to deselect you too. Sorry about that. I want—I really want to just bring him out of this time. Just want to see what he can do exactly. But yo, we have actually a huge map over here. However, we actually don't have to route the enemy. Route the enemy. Sorry. All we have to do is defeat the boss, which is basically Camilla. Does Camilla have any? Okay, she doesn't actually have any, um, really, really good skills. I mean, she does have lunge and strength plus two, but that's pretty much it. She doesn't have winged shields, basically making it impossible for anyone to get extra damage. So she doesn't have that. She does have a steel axe and a hand axe, so should be very careful when fighting Camilla. 
Otherwise, we're going to be screwed up the asshole, guys. We really are. And then there are actually a lot of promoted units over here. Holy crap. We already have to face against sorcerers. Out well, outlaws, okay. Then berserkers. Okay, it's kind of like mixed up, though. It's like berserkers, then fighters, and then dark mages and sorcerers. It's like mixed up. And then Baruka is actually here, too. Oh, my God. Baruka the Weaver and Rider. I gotta say, I heard that Baruka is not all that great. One of the reasons why um, I didn't really use her that much in Conquest, but I still really want to try to use her a lot more. If we do end up getting her, that is. If we do end up actually recruiting um, Camilla and her two retainers. Oh, yeah, Selena's also here. Yo, Selena! Dude, I love Selena. Dude. Selena's awesome. One of my top units in Conquest, too. Not one of my top units, but she was definitely up there. But if we actually manage to recruit all three of these guys, basically Selena, Baruka, and Camilla, yeah, it would be pretty good. And I would actually really want to start training Baruka, too. Just want to see what she can do, because she doesn't really start off that bad with stats and all that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Now, gotta say, I don't really like the fact that Sakura is vulnerable there. And most likely, actually, wait, we, yeah. And these guys can pretty much move freely over here because it is frozen, even though the ICC is kind of like, it is pretty much terrain that is harder to go through. Sakura, I'm not going to have you be there, really. Okay, where are the other units? Alright, they're over here. We're going to put Hanada over there, but only because Sakura is most distant from those guys, so I think that'll be good. And Hayato, we have, yeah, we'll actually have him in the front line, on the front lines. Takumi, we're going to have you in front as well. So there we go. Um, let's switch Rinka for Kagero. Just really want to see what Kagero can do. Because, man, I loved Kagero in Birthright. She was so good. Probably one of my top five units in Birthright. Or maybe even top three, maybe. Actually, maybe not top three. Because, like, it was Ryoma, Takumi, and Kashe who were, like, the best. But, yo, but still, Kagero is super good. And then Obero. Oh, God, Obero is so good right now. Another, another unit that I really wish I could have fought with a lot in my Birthright playthrough. Such a shame. We're actually going to put Hinata there. Although he actually can't get over there. And then Sizer, we're going to put him to work. This should be interesting. I mean, other than that, I think there's really not much, not much else to do. So, I mean, Hayato's good. Rink is good. I pretty much moved everyone where I want. And all the inventory is good. Also, actually, wait, hold on. Let me give my, my good guys some vulnerabilities. Alright, Sakura doesn't have one. I'll probably just give her one. We have six of these things, so that's why I'm thinking of doing this now. Oh, bro, we're going to give you one. Hayato, you already have one. Nada, you don't have one. So we're going to take that. Kagero, you don't have one either. Saizo, you don't have one either. Actually, wait, you do have one. Okay, you're good. Subaki. All right, everyone's good, right? Everyone's good for vulnerary? Yes? No? Maybe so? Yep, we're good. All right, so that being said, I'm pretty sure we're good. We're most likely going to have Takami take out Camilla, obviously because he's an archer, you know, makes sense. So that should be very good, and let's just go ahead and save our progress, guys. We're ready. This shouldn't be too bad of a fight. I mean, those who have low resistance might be might be bad against the sorcerers, but listen carefully, Kashe. The enemy can use the frozen sea to reach us. We can't reach the ice, but I think we can use the dragon veins on the ocean floor. We just need to wait until the currents aren't obscuring them. Be patient. Wait, there are dragon veins over there? Alright, defeat the boss. Wait, where are the dragon veins? I totally missed that. Where is it? It's, it, they said on the ocean floor. What the hell? I don't see any dragon veins. Oh, wait, is that it? No, wait, what the fuck am I looking at? There's not any on the ship. Whatever, I guess they're, they're, they're gonna show up eventually. I don't know, that's just what I'm assuming. We can actually attack from here? Damn, and Saizo can actually do really good here. Damn. Steel Shuriken wouldn't do that good. Honestly, Hanada, you can't go over there. That sucks. However, ooh, Subaki can. Subaki can. Yo, wait. Alrighty, sounds good to me, guys. 
And as for resistance, I'm pretty sure Subaki and Hanada are good. But let's actually have Saizo get this first kill. 100% with Saizo's star. So we're gonna go with it, you know what I'm saying? Saizo, man. That's it. I don't know about you guys, because... Oh my shit. <laughs> oh my shit. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm gonna make the same move I did in my Birthright playthrough. I think I'm actually gonna be changing him back to a Dread Fighter. I don't know, just I love that class so much. It's just so good. As for you guys, let's... Should we move Kashe here? Should we? You know what? Why not? Let's go. Let's go. We can't actually move here, though. What the fuck? Alright. Azura, you can't reach. Shit. Alright. Pair. Wait, but it's not gonna matter anyway. What am I even doing? And then I forged two iron lances to form the singing spear for Azura. That's what I'm calling it for now. We're actually... Oh, yeah. By the way, I gave Felicia... Uh, Felicia's plate, so I should be good. But for now, I'm actually gonna equip... Uh, Flame Shuriken, only because it's just so broken. Like, most of these guys don't have that high of resistance, so... <laughs> that'll probably be very handy when fighting against these guys next turn. Uh, and as for Hayato, let's just put him there. I don't honestly know what to do as for moving, because... Yeah. And then Sakura put her there. What can Takumi do, man? And then... Yeah, I mean, not Takumi. I'm talking about fucking... Yeah, Takumi. Alright, let's just... There's really not much to do. I'm serious. I'm, I'm just saying. Alright, we're gonna pair up with Hanada. Fuck. That was not what I meant to do. Separate. What the fuck was I doing? I meant to pair up Hanada with... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hello. I'm Lady Camilla's retainer, Baruka. I'm here to sink this boat and kill its passengers. And eliminate Kashe. Which is basically me. Okay, thanks, bud. I mean, thanks... Girl. Well, you're fucked. You're fucked. Sorry, Baruka, but you deserve that shit. <laughs> I failed. Retreating. Bitch ass nigga. That's what you get for coming up to Kashe. You don't do that shit. Honestly. Kashe is basically the powerhouse of this entire team, so. Shouldn't be fucking with me. Don't fuck with me. Felicia, however, can get some shit done. Ooh, let's see if we can get a crit. Let's go with Felicia's plate. And you know what's really cool about this weapon too? It actually is uh, like it has like ice around it. See how like the snow is around it too? It, it like, kind of makes sense since Felicia is like an ice kind of person. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh boy, oh boy. What should I do? What should I honestly do? Well, that's a, that's a huge danger zone, I'm not gonna lie. Can these guys actually get onto the ship? That would be very bad. Can I move? God damn it, where can I... I cannot actually find any dragon veins. Like, what? I don't know what they're talking about. What dragon veins are there? There's none. What am I supposed to do? Alright, pair up with Subaki. Have Subaki move down here. We can't separate? What the flippity flab is this? Oh, shit, my dude. We're not allowed to go on the ice. That's so weird. We can't switch or anything like that. That's so weird. Let's actually attack the Dark Mage instead. That'll be just some free experience right there. We're going to use Subaki's Pike. Let's go. Let's do that 16 damage right there. Ah, uh, this man's hat is off. How do you feel? I got, you. I got you! Thank you, Hinata. I really want to use him more. I need to use Hinata more. I mean, come on. <gasps> Shit, my dudes. Oh, yeah, and Hinata actually also has Killing Edge. Oh, yes, that should be super useful. Can't do anything with Saizo, so I might as well just wait. And then everyone else really can't do shit. Like, really. Put Obro next to Takumi, just in case if he gets attacked. Put... Yeah, put Kagero there. Let's just fucking keep everyone there. Um... Kashe. Kashe. I can't attack these niggas. Whatever. Whatever, I'm so done. Like, who else can I move, though? 
Hello? One, two, three, four, and then five. Oh, okay, I'm done. Let's just end the turn. You guys ain't gonna do shit, him Tsubaki. Get the fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! Goddamn, nigga. That was insane. This man, Tsubaki, just got a crit. Level 12. Alright, not bad either. Three stats. That's alright. And of course, we have that dual guard, plus he's not gonna do any damage to me anyway. So we're gonna just have you fuck off. And then kill you. That's my plan right now. Oh my god, he's getting so much experience. Wish I could share that experience with Hinata, but of course not. Anyway, three damage. That's not good. Yo, you wanna fuck off? This is what you get for fucking with Kagero. Do not do that. Do not do that. Maybe I should have equipped Black Sting. I mean, Black Thingy. Whatever, I don't even know what the hell I called it. I literally forged it like an hour ago. I don't even remember what it's called. Are you really trying to hit Saizo right now? I've prepared him for this. He's ready now. Maybe last chapter he sucked, but now he's ready. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to leave. And Saizo, you need to get better stats. Like, what the fuck is this? Is there any point of... Wait, what the fuck, dude? I honestly don't understand, though. How am I supposed to move? <gasps> the stairs. Is that is that what I'm doing? No, that's not it. Anyway, let's just have Kashe do some shit. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Come on, Kashe. Let's get working. Well, that's what you get. Don't mess with Kashe. Don't mess with him. Don't fuck with the boy, Kashe, the Noor Prince. Dude. Oh, right about to level up to my dudes. Like what, bro? Oh, boy. All right. Azura, sing for Kashe so that way he can get out of the way. Real quickly. So, Kashe, get out of the way. Rhymed. Felicia can do some damage with the flame shuriken. Shuriken. Some people say shuriken, which is so weird. I can't say it like that. But there we go. Nice job, Felicia. Great job. I really do like that. I honestly really do. So the stairs, can they actually take me somewhere else? But what the fuck, though? None of the stairs in which... Literally, there's... Yeah, no stairs on our side. Talk to me no, bro. Just stay right there. And then Kagero, you should be fine. Kagero should be fine. There's no escape. I can't even fucking do this. Guys, where do I move? Is there a way where I can just, like, get out? Can I just move? God damn it. Like, this is just upsetting. Alright, let's just move back here. I don't really care. We're, we're already ready. We already know what to do. So we're just gonna keep everyone where they are. Holy shit. You have some nerve coming out of here. Coming over here. The fuck you doing, nigga? The fuck you doing, nigga? What you doing? Don't attack, Saizo. You know what's gonna happen to you. You're gonna get fucking murked. Like, don't do it. Oh, that would have been a bad move. However, no damage. And seal resistance is gonna pull through. Oh, you're gonna get so fucked right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you missed. Bam. Oh, 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 oh. Extra damage to Norians. Yup. I remember that. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Talk to me. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? What are we supposed to do? Hello? It's not like this is gonna be any better. What the hell's going on? Honestly, what the hell do I do, guys? Like, what? Where the fuck are the dragon veins around here? I'm so confused. I'm so fucking lost. What the fuck do I do, man? This is the first- it's like a fucking, like, puzzle. Where the hell are the dragon veins at? 
How do I fucking progress? All there's gonna be is more reinforcements. Like, what the fuck, dude? What the hell am I supposed to do here? Honestly, dude, like, what the hell? I think I'm gonna rage in a few seconds. To be completely honest with you guys. But, what can we do? What can we do? I can have Kashe kill this man. Pretty easily, too. I mean, that has 28 damage. Oh, if I had one plus speed, I'd be able to attack twice, but then again, it's not necessary. Only because I want to level him up to level 18, we're going to have Kashe just destroy the shit out of this guy. I feel bad for your pathetic life. Actually, no, I don't. You don't deserve that privilege of my sympathy. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, level 18 with Kashe. We're so close to max level. I am very excited about that. As for you, you actually have four resistance now, thanks to Rinka. So what we're gonna do is fuck you up. Eh. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the monkey spirit, so that way we just get 100%. Even if Rinka misses, it's not gonna be a big deal. So there we go, and... Missed. Goodbye the fuck out. I know guys, Hayato does not look that strong right now. He really does not. But from what I've seen from me going back to him in Birthright, he's ridiculous. He becomes a huge magic tank. You guys will see once we actually train him up a little bit. You guys can stay wherever the hell you are because honestly, I just don't know what the fuck to do at this point. Everyone else is good where they are, right? We good? We solid? Whatever, dude. I'm ready. I don't fucking care. So you guys can move. I don't really give a fuck. This is so fucking tedious. What am I supposed to do? I'm get I've said that a good like three or four times now, and I still have no goddamn clue. I literally just have to keep everyone where they are. It doesn't even matter. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Put Felicia in front because she'll be deadly. She has better support with Kashe. Keep that flame shirking on. God damn it. There's really nothing else I can do? This kind of sucks. It's already turn 5. Like, what? Like, really? Why is everyone attacking Kashe again? I have no clue. I don't understand it, but... I mean, whatever. You guys are so fucked. 15% and 75% of no damage. Hmm. <laughs> I laugh at that shit. Azura, let's have you attack. Hello? I think the currents have slowed. We should be able to use the dragon veins on the ocean floor now. Well, damn. <laughs> I finally figured out how to do this. <laughs> it's about goddamn time. Seriously. Um, I actually really want Azura to kill this guy. So can we actually... Yes, we can. So what we're going to do is just have Azura kill this man real quick. Thank God, dude. Thank God we can actually do shit now. I was getting so butthurt from not being able to do anything for five or six turns. Dragon Vein. Alright, let's do it. If we can actually move on this floor and start to go to where Camilla is, then yeah, let's go. Alright, so now this is built. Anyone royal on this side? Oh shit, no. Shit, dude. That's kind of a shame. No one royal. No one royal on this side. That's that's kind of a problem. Because the thing is, I really want Saizo and other people to get a chance to move. So for now, let's actually separate these two. We're going to go do that. Oh, that'll actually create a path right here. Okay. Saizo, you're going to wait here. Subaki will be here to pick you up next turn or whatever. Alright, Rinka, get off this thing. We're gonna have Sakura activate the Dragon Vein. So that we can finally fucking go through here. That would be great. Nice. Now, Hayato can go through here. That's perfect. Takumi's actually here. We can either attack or use the Dragon Vein. What do I want to do? Kagura, we, we should actually have you move up too. That would be good. 
Let's parry up with Obro, just so that way you can actually attack from here. You can't attack from there? I thought for sure that... Oh, shit. Well, anyway, let me really quickly equip the... Let's see. I mean, this can do more damage, so I just, I'll just keep that on. Let's just separate then. And then talk to me. Let's just, um... So this, this path... Oh, it'll actually do that? Well, shit, dude. Yo, I'm fine with that. Let's just do that one instead. Let's see what this can do. Oh, my God. What a huge path. God damn it. Oh, shit. Saizo can actually go through everything now. Yes, this is perfect. <laughs> You're gonna attack Kagero. This is so funny. Oh, my God. This is actually hilarious. The fuck you doing, nigga? Oh, my God. Fine execution by Kagero. Oh, my Lord. Have mercy. Level 11. Dude. Good enough. I, for one, think that is plenty good enough. Uh-oh, reinforcements. Of course, why am I not surprised? Kashi, let's have you moving, my boy. Attack twice with that Yato blade. Let's go, dude. Get some experience. Steal that experience. Even though it's very little. Not a big deal, though. I'm fine with that, considering how much fucking experience you've gotten so far. You know, let's just put everyone over here. Hanada's gonna get a chance to... Attack these big boys. His resistance isn't that bad, so I think he'll be fine against the sorcerers or dark mages. Plus, you'll actually have an advantage against the uh, outlaws and berserkers, so. Shouldn't be that bad. Just saying. Oh, bro, let's have you attack. I know you have a disadvantage, but. <gasps> oh, we do have the dual Naginata, which is actually an advantage. So let's go with that instead. We have. Kagero over here to help us out just in case, but no need for that. Because, yo, we just took him the fuck out. And of course we level up. Level 13. Woo! Woo! Father, mother, I will avenge you. The hell you will. Damn. Damn. Alright, let's create a dragon vein over here so that way we can actually go over here. And now Kagero, my girl Kagero. All right, pair up with Hayato for just a few seconds. Switch, heal up a good four HP. Whatever. All that matters is the experience. That's all I'm looking for with Sakura. And now she's level ten, which is nice. Rally luck. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty goddamn sexy. Alright, let's actually put her right in front of Takumi, because now, if she gets attacked, she'll actually have that double attack with, uh, with Takumi over here. Alright, so wait there. Um, Azura? Eh, let's just have you go over here. I don't really care. And then when we're all done cleaning up this area, we'll come back to, uh, face off and go over here. As for my boy Saizo, let's just, let's just move, guys. Rinka, let's go over here and wait. Alrighty, you guys are attacking Kashe, but you have no idea how strong this nigga is. You're so fucked, it's not even funny. Oh my god. Dude, you guys are so fucking fucked. It's not funny. And Kagero actually has really good resistance too, so she won't be getting any damage. Thank you, Takumi, for stepping in the way. Yes. Oh my god, what? <gasps> oh my god, how? Oh my god, Paragon pulling through right now. It's actually ridiculous right now, holy shit. Hand Axe ain't gonna do shit to Zura. Felicia, for fuck's sake, will you calm the fuck down? Jesus. Oh my fucking god. Alright, but let's see. Okay, um, will we add movement? No. Ka Wait, Azura would actually have a very huge advantage. Let's pair up Kasha and Azura temporarily. And let's send Azura down here to face, like, uh, face off against Selena because we'll have the advantage. Plus, we have strength um, added, plus three, since we have Kasha here, obviously. And yo... We're just going to completely take you out. You have very low resistance, so 
This shouldn't be a problem for us to take you out. Thanks, dude. Thank you for the free experience. Really do appreciate that. Level 16. Really appreciating that. Man, Felicia's insane now. She's unstoppable. And we got a Master Seal. Just send that to the convoy. We have too many of these at this point. It's it's actually really insane. I keep on saying that, but god damn it, it's true. It's just so true. Oh my god. Alright, Sakura. Transfer. Hayato to Rinka. Use Rally. Rally Luck. Let's have them sent over here. Separate. There we go. Kagero, let's just... Let's just build a wall. Talk to me. We're gonna have you there. Oh, bro, we're gonna have you here. Oh, bro, this is gonna be great. Oh, who's gonna fill up the last spot? Not Sakura, because that'd be bad. That'd actually be trouble. But, nonetheless, let's keep moving. Saizo, let's have you go. Subaki, let's have you go. Yeah, I want these guys to get some experience, too. Especially Hinata. We haven't even been able to use him, really. Here we go. All right. I'm Selena, one of Lady Camilla's retainers. I can tell that Milady is unhappy with this mission, but orders are orders. I faithfully carry out whatever Milady commands. So, please, either die or get out of my way. Psh, okay. Well, you're not doing any damage to Azura. And Azura is actually going to do... Astra. Mm, this is going to hurt. Oh, oh. Mm, that's a shame. I'm so sorry. How? No one told me that you were this strong. I'm sorry, Lady Camilla. I need to fall back. Poor Selena. She was one of my favorite characters in Conquest. Whatever. She'll be fine. It's not like you killed her or anything. One damage. Really? We just lowered your resistance by like fucking six. Or five or four. I don't even know. One damage. You guys aren't doing much, are you? <laughs> and we have the dual Naginatsu, which means I have an advantage over you. I have no idea what you're doing. I don't think you have any idea what you're doing. Don't mess with these two. These two are going to be unstoppable. Oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, bro. This is actually really bad. Because now my units are too overpowered. This is kind of a problem. I'm, I'm joking when I say that, of course. But god damn it. Like, what the fuck? God fucking damn it. Anyway. We can finally send Tsubaki somewhere. That's nice. Um, let's actually... Pair up. Alright, so that's speeds plus four, luck plus two. Let's actually do that. And now... Okay, we actually wouldn't do that bad. Oh, I wish we really... I really wish we had a dual Naginata or something. For those guys. One damage. That's not all that bad. Our Naginata can't really do much. Um, is Camilla gonna attack us, though? If she attack- Oh, uh, wait, but- Are there any chests around here, by the way? No. There aren't any chests around- Oh, wait! Camilla's not even the boss. Flora's the boss. Oh, I didn't even realize that at first. Shit, actually, yeah. What can Hanada do? I, I'm just curious. Come, yeah, Hanada wouldn't even be that bad. Let's go with the Killing Edge. Just see if we can get a crit with this thing. Because if Camilla ends up attacking um, Hanada, it wouldn't be that bad because he has an advantage, technically, with the weapons. So there we go. Hanada gets the, the nice kill right there. And almost leveling up in one fight? Oh my Jesus, this is going to be great. This should be great. Alright, who can really use some experience? Oh, I know who. Rinka! But, okay, wait a minute. I want to attack this guy. Iron Axe will do the job. Let's go, then. Let's go, Rinka! 19 damage plus 11 from a Obero? Hello? Get out. Get out of my house. This is my house. I don't know what you're doing here, and I want you to leave. Now, Hayato, now is another chance for you to get some experience over here. Oh, shit. Fuck. Well, um, mm, uh, uh. What can he do by, by himself? Oh, God, Hayato. Really, dude? Really, dude? Flora's range is actually not that good. So, she won't be 
pretty... Yeah, she won't be going after us. We'll be fine. Ugh. Damn it, why can't you just... Alright, we're gonna talk to me there and then have Hayata over here. Because then... Yes, that'll actually do it. Alright. Doesn't really matter which one we use, just let's do this. Thanks to Takumi, we can actually kill this man. Here we go. So, Monkey Spirit and Takumi pulling through. Thank you very much. Hayato is going to level... Oh, wow, they're actually exactly inexperienced. They're exact inexperienced. Hayato actually maxed out his defense, which is cool. Alright, and now, Obero over here can actually do some more damage over here. Plus, we have Takumi right next to her. That's not bad at all. I know, Takumi, you won't be able to stand at anal. <laughs> stand anal? What the fuck? I meant stand idle. What the hell, bro? Level 15 already. One step at a time. I know, Obro's really not getting that many of good stats, but it's okay. I know she's a monster, though. She is a monster. I believe in Obro. She will be unstoppable, I swear to you guys. I swear to you guys. Alright, Sakura, let's have you moving. You're pretty much fine. You're not in any danger at all, so you should be fine. Saizo, let's have you move. Uh, I just... Ooh, maybe we can have Saizo or something get the kill for Flora. That wouldn't be bad. As for Kashe and Azura, we're fine. We're gonna actually separate these two, though. So there we go. Felicia, let's have you guys move over there. And there we go. Alright, you guys are gonna attack Hanada. However, you're not gonna do anything to him. So, yeah. Alright, two damage. Not a big deal, really. You really think two damage is gonna... And you missed. Wait, what the fuck? That was the weirdest glitch I've ever seen in my life. Did you see that, guys? Obero attacked with her killer lance from all the way back here. She didn't even move towards the fucking outlaw. Uh, well, there we go. That's Fire Emblem Fates for you. <laughs> anyway, though, one damage. Oh, please. We have dual guard now, so hope you realize that. Oh, I was really hoping we can get a crit there. But no big deal. Hanada levels up anyway. That's good shit right there. Luck and defense? Alright, whatever. Dual guard. We're fine. Now would be a good time for uh, Subaki to attack those dark mages, but... Okay. I'm hoping one of our hits is a crit. That would be great. Please be a crit. God damn it. Come on, Hinata. You can do it. I know you can. You can do it. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, you've come to say hello? Sorry, but I don't have time for you. Now, where's my darling Cachet gotten to? Damn, Camilla's already starting to attack us. God damn it, we have to save her. Save him. <laughs> oh, God. I love the music, by the way. The music for this boss fight is awesome. Alrighty. But anyway, let's have Kashe move. Azura, let's have you sing. For him. There you go. Yeah. Our three starting units are actually the ones who are behind, which is funny. Our, tr our three best units, pretty much. I mean, Azura is fantastic right now. So is Felicia and Kashe, so I mean... Come on now. Can't go anything wrong with that. Okay, is there anyone who can add movement at the moment? That'll actually add movement. Alright, so Takumi, let's have you move. Fuck. Damn it. Alright. Separate. Right there. Okay. Um, uh, what can... I'm just curious. What can Hayato do? Oh my fucking god. Alright, Hayato can't do this. Not a big deal, I guess. That wouldn't be bad. We'd actually be able to kill. For, for this. So maybe we should do that. But what can... 15 damage. That's not bad either. Alright, speed plus 4. That actually... That's not gonna do it. Wait, but how do... How's that even possible? We can't attack twice with this thing? But we have 20 speed now, thanks to Hiato. That's weird. We have more than 6... Yeah, we have 6 fucking plus... Whatever. Anyway, um, let's kill this guy. Oh man, I'm just really hoping um, Hanada will be fine. But, of course he's getting the crit at the wrong time. You know, when he has like freaking 4 HP left. 
Whatever, though. Not a big deal. We're about to level up again, which is not bad. Level 12, almost. Sizo, let's have you moving. Oh, god damn it. Really hoping you can move. Camilla, where can she move? Oh, my fucking god. Sakura can move, too. Alright, let's pair up with Sakura real quick. Move right here. Separate. Put Sizo there. Oh, bro, we're just gonna have you... We're gonna have you ready for, um... When we start attacking Flora. Shouldn't be that bad. Ah, this wasted our dual guard. Now Camilla will actually be able to hit us. Because Camilla can actually do a lot of damage. I realize that. However, these guys are complete pushovers. They're not going to do anything to me. Yeah, just get out. Just get the fuck out. Oh, shit. This is going to be bad. If this hits, this is going to be really bad. Okay, that missed. Not bad. And we actually managed um, we managed to hit her this time. Okay. Level 12. Okay, that was kind of bad. Only resistance? That's kind of shit. Oh, God. Oh, talk me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so fucked, Camilla. Goodbye. Oh, shit. So sniped. So sniped. Father, I'm so sorry. I. Aw, oh, man. But. Uh, God damn it, Camilla. Oh. Uh, talk. Are you niggering me? That's exactly what fucking Talk Me just said. Alright, I gotta stop making those fucking jokes. Because they're not funny. And now let's just have you attack this dude. Let's go. You can do 21 damage with that shit. Let's go. Boom! Alright, Hinata. Not bad. And now Kagera, let's have you move. Oh, yes. Sting Shuriken's got this. Kagero. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, they're working together. It's great. I love this working together. Holy fucking nigga. Are you kidding me, Kagero? Oh, my God. Level 13 already. See, this is what happens when you have every one of your units have Paragon, because then it's just fucking ridiculous. That's where it starts to get bad. Anyway, there are actually two units left, so... Yeah, that happened. Saizo, let's see what you can do on the battlefield. Holy shit, you can actually do a lot of fucking damage. Which is awesome by me. Um... Let's attack from afar. If we manage to hit this, that'd be great. Let's use that mini Tomahawk. I can't afford to show you mercy. My tribe needs me to hold nothing back. Are you prepared to die? I'll freeze you all. Flora's so nasty, man. She's so fucking ruthless, man. Fine, we'll take that 8 damage, but we'll also take that level up right there. Level 13, Rinko. Let's go. Alright, so that helps us. And seal resistance? Oh, hell yeah, baby. Let's go. And now, Saizo, over here, will be able to do 20 damage. And, essentially, finish off this fight right here. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Damn, nigga. Saizo killed you just like that with a crit? God damn. How can I let this happen? I'm sorry. Again, we really did not want to do this. Oh my fucking god, he almost leveled up twice. Oh my god, Saizo. Unacceptable. That sucks. Steel dagger, though. Not bad. There we go. 11 turns, but we did it. You've won, Kashe. Now kill me. Camilla, what are you talking about? Wait, Lady Camilla, you're giving up? You admit defeat too early. We can retreat and try again. No. No. You, won't, you know as well as I that death awaits that those that fail my father. We'll be executed if we return home. I'd rather die at Kashe's hands to have the last thing I see be his face. <laughs> Camilla, I actually really like that. Please, Kashe. Camilla, are you sure about this? You're willing to surrender your life for me? Or to me? I am. Go on, my dear brother. I won't beg for mercy. Alright. Why is he smiling? <laughs> He's like, alright. <laughs> In that case, Camilla, you're coming with us. You can't be serious. Oh, that's why he was smiling. <laughs> smiling. Are you out of your mind, Kashe? They just tried to kill you. Why would you invite them to join? Talk me. Talk me. I know how you feel about Noor, 
but you can't believe I would kill my sister. Even though she fought against us, it was only because King Garen demanded it. Now she is safe from him. Remember, our real enemy isn't a part of Hoshida or Nor. Our real enemy? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't talk about here. I wish I could, but it's impossible right now. I want you to believe me. We're fighting to bring an end to this war. There has to be a path we can follow that doesn't destroy Nor, uh, Nor or Hoshido. We'll find it together. Whoa! Lord Cachet, did your sword just glow just now? I see. I remember this look. This is the same look you'd give me when you made up your mind. I always loved that strong, determined look. Ooh, Camilla, I always like your big, um, delicious boobs. All right, I believe you. I'll fight <laughs> Oh, God, I gotta stop, dude. I gotta stop just completely staring at Camilla's tits right now. I can't take my eyes off them. Just telling you guys right now. All right, I believe you. I'll fight for you. I don't know what's going on, but the least a big sister can do is believe her little brother. Thank you. Thank you, Camilla. What a pain. Well, that settles it. That means we're going to... Baruka. Uh, where? Huh? What do you mean, where? We're going to join Lord Cachet's army with Lady Camilla. If a liege somewhere... Wait, if a liege goes somewhere, then the retainers go too, obviously. Understood. I've got your back. So you can count on us, Lord Cachet. Thank you. All right, thank you. What do you want, Flora? Hey. What about you, Flora? Will you come with us too? No. No, I can't abandon the Ice Tribe. There are too many of them still in danger, including my father. I cannot go with you. Won't it be dangerous for you to return home? It's all right. Don't worry. Before we set out, I told them that you were going hiding away, just in case. I'm going to meet up with them, and we'll continue to lay low and avoid Nor. I'm putting my faith in you, Lord Cachet. My tribe will be able to uh, return home if you, the hero, put an end to this fighting. Well, hero? I see. Yes, I'm to go a moment ago, I saw your sword glow. I'm sure... It must be the sword spoken of spoken in old legends from my tribe. You've heard something about this weapon? That's... It looks very much like the sword described in some ancient ice tribe stories. A shining sword. The one who wield it wields it is supposed to save the world, which would make you the hero, wouldn't it, Lord Cachet? <laughs> I think calling me a hero is a bit of an exaggeration. This may be a legendary blade, but having it could just be a coincidence. That's all the same, I still believe in you, even though I'm not coming along. I choose to believe that you're our hero, my lord. Flora, um, we should get going. Oh. oh, wait, I remember something I should ask you. Do you know a thing of dragons? Dragons? Yeah. The Archduke of Izumo said that an old god gave him a message for us. Message for us. A message about dragons. If you know anything about them, please tell me. Even if it's just something from a legend like the one you mentioned before. I apologize. I'm sorry, but I can't think of anything. They've been gone so long that we don't even have tales of dragons in the Ice Tribe. I'm so sorry I couldn't be more of the assistance. No, no it's fine, Flora. Thanks. Promise me you'll be careful out there. Yes. I will. Until we meet again, everyone. And there we go. That is it. Sweet, though. We now have Camilla, Selena, and Baruka on our team. I am happy about that. We finally have some Norians. Flora and the other Ice Tribe fighters have left. Hopefully they and the rest of the tribe find a safe place away from King Garen. Not to worry. Don't worry. They're very skilled at manipulating ice. I'm sure they can build themselves a good hiding place or two as they go. Just like when you built that large snow fort to hide in. <laughs> oh wow, that really digs up old memories. I remember listening as everyone panicked, trying to figure out where I had gotten to. You know, Camilla, I've always liked those big, luscious boobs of you. <laughs> I'm so done with this. Oh my god. I'm glad we're together again. I miss talking with you. Oh. Aww, I was just thinking the same thing. It's like a dream. I think Flora had... Uh, well, hold on. I think Flora had it right when she said you were a legendary hero. After all, you saved me back there. Are you saying you believe in the legend she mentioned? No, that's not what I meant. I believe in you, Kashe. And whatever it is you set out to do, if anyone can bring an end to this war, it will be you. Sister. Camilla. I can't imagine that the others will trust me yet, though. Do you know if the Hoshiden's traditions to listen... Well, hold on, what the hell? Do you know if it's Hoshiden tradition to listen on the other's conversation of others? <laughs> ah, um, sorry. I was just... Hmm. My apologies. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to pry. Well, oh my god, these, these three just completely eavesdropped on me and Camilla's conversation. That's not cool, guys. Sakura, talk to me. Even you, Azura? <laughs> hold on, you're Azura? The same Azura that was kidnapped? Mm -hmm. You remember me? Of course I do. I saw you many times in the castle. 
And if I remember correctly, the Norian nobility used to treat you horribly. They did? Why? Azura's mother, Queen Arit, was father's second wife. Oh, yep, King Garen's a pimp, of course. However, <laughs> there are many in the nobility who supported Queen Katarina. My mother was uh, one such person. She constantly told me not to talk to Azura. Of course, Xander, being Queen uh, Katarina's child, was told the same thing. Later, when Leo was born, he was also kept away from her. We were dutiful children, so we obeyed. Uh, but we always wish we could spend time with you, like real siblings. We never forgot about you. You are our adorable sister, after all. Thank you for saying that, Camilla. Hey now. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Azura, you shouldn't trust her so easily. Even though you're siblings, you can't be certain of her motives. Oh, my. Oh, talk to me. True. No, he's right. You have every reason to be wary of me. We were just fighting a moment ago, after all. But you, didn't, you don't need to worry. From this point forward, I will do nothing that will upset Kashe. Though, if Kashe asks, I wouldn't object to talking one or... Oh, taking one or two of you out. <gasps> Camilla! I'm only kidding. No more dark humor, for now. I will keep things light. I promise I won't betray you. I will risk my life fighting for... Or with you all. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Sakura's just like, uh... Of course, Camilla. I'll be honest, I still don't trust you, but I'll work with you. Maybe over time we can build that trust, Princess Camilla. Thank you. Thank you. I love nothing more. Everyone. Thanks, everyone. I never dreamed I'd be able to bring my siblings from both kingdoms together. We still have a long way to go, but each step we take fills me with hope. Look, the icy... Oh, the icy. The ice is starting to melt. Let's get this boat moving. Onward to Chevet. Yo, sounds good to me, Kashe. Let's go. And let's go ahead and save our progress right there. That was actually a really great chapter, in my opinion, because it wasn't too hard. Um, although I was really confused for, like, the first five or six turns, we still managed to get through a lot, so... Very happy about that. And, um, yes, now we actually have some new Norian units, guys. We now have Camilla, Baruka, and Selena on our team, which is awesome. So I'm very happy to have these guys on my team, and hopefully we will make great use of them in the future. Um, but until then guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. If you all did enjoy it and want to keep on seeing more, definitely make sure to show your love and support and smash that like button for me. Really would appreciate it from you guys, considering that we've gotten a lot of great, um, support for this series already. Can't thank you enough, uh, for that, by the way. Um, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new, because that would always, um, you know, also mean a lot to me. But anyway guys, thanks so much again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace Marquezis, stay awesome. Oh, <laughs>